Everybody's talking about the Republicans taking control of both houses of Congress. If they do, and that's a big if at the moment, does history show it'll be better for the country? After all, in 1994, Republicans controlled both houses of Congress and managed to work with Democrat Bill Clinton. Although it wasn't exactly all wines and roses, there was Whitewater, Monica Lewinsky, and impeachment eventually. Let's talk about this with Julian Zelizer. He's a presidential historian at Princeton University. Welcome, sir. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So, Julian, if Republicans gain control of the Senate, um, how will this be different historically? Well, we're in a more polarized era than we were in the 1990s, so my guess is divided government will not bring both parties to the center. And my guess is that a Republican Senate, a Republican Congress, would probably be more obstructionist and more difficult uh, for the Democratic president to deal with as we get closer to the election. So polarization has intensified, and it will make things that much harder in an era of divided government. Are you talking about, about the Tea Party? Yeah, I'm talking about uh, the impact of the Tea Party since 2010 within the GOP, how that's t changed some of the strategy of the Republicans. Um, you know, I've, I've just been trying to think of, is, is there an issue you think that Republicans will focus on if they take control of the Senate, you know, despite splits within the Republican Party? Is there one issue that you see that they're going to put on the table right away and then get the cooperation of President Obama to get, this, to, to get him to sign it into law? Well, I think they're going to go back to the question of the budget. I think this is something Republicans have been very comfortable dealing with, meaning spending cuts and tax cuts. Uh, and I think they might try to push the president back toward some negotiations over a quote-unquote grand bargain over the budget to test whether President Obama is willing uh, to deal with them and willing to anger many Democrats in a kind of deal uh, they have been hoping to avoid. So my guess is the budget is the issue they're going to put on the table if we have a Republican Congress after tonight. Well, let's talk about President Obama and, and if he's likely to be willing to work with a Republican Senate and a Republican House. Do you think he will? Because I guess he doesn't have to. I think he's going to be a little nervous about doing that. I mean, the record for him, in his opinion, has been he offers things to the Republicans, he has offered to compromise, and like Lucy and Charlie Brown, they take the ball away right when he's about to kick it. Uh, so my guess is he's going to be more interested in using executive power to deal with issues like immigration, to deal with issues like climate change, and very reluctant, if the GOP puts something on the table, to start negotiating or to try to get a deal. I understand. Julian Zelizer, thanks for your insight. I appreciate it. I'm back Thank in a you. minute.